Clarendon Marathon is uh, a trail of 26 miles which mainly goes along the, the trail of the Clarendon Trail which goes from Salisbury to Winchester. Um, we actually put in a couple of extra loops to make up the 26 miles for the runners. We also have some walkers who leave earlier on um, and interestingly I've just had conversations with them all about it but they want to do the full 26 miles so they're going to do the extra loops as well. This is the third Clarendon. Really exciting. And such great company, fantastic. Team spirit and all that sort of business, companionship, love it, fantastic. And I want to keep doing it. I'm 68 in two weeks' time, and the target is 70. So if I can do the Clarendon, Clarendon until I'm 70, I should be quite, quite pleased. The Clarendon Marathon was first run in 1998, so this actually is the 20th anniversary. We're, we're trying to make a big thing of that, really. Um, Paul Eldercombe was the guy who first organised it, and he was a, a member of a local hash running club, um, and it grew from there. Rotary got involved probably about 15 years ago, helping out with the marshalling and signage and so forth. And then, uh, seven years ago, Paul decided to um, pass the whole lot over to us because it, by then it had become quite a big event. So we took over, we got a big committee together and, and we've rolled on from there. It's, it's an old footpath, the UK is covered by footpaths um, and, and most of those became roads but of course some are still footpaths and this one usually is quite a long footpath um, but it hasn't got much tarmac on it at all. There's always people who have had relatives who have died from cancer or things like that and it might be um, an obscure cancer and they're raising money for that particular type of cancer and think, uh, those sorts of things. Um, there's also people raising money for the local school or the local church roof or it's, it's, it's just everything, absolutely everything. Well we both decided to do some runs this year to raise awareness um, for CALM which is helping mental health in men and um, preventing suicide because uh, I sadly lost my husband in April this year and he committed suicide. Yeah, so calm, uh, so calm sort of funds that, and it's, you know, suicide is the biggest killer for men under 45, so it's important to, so that no one else has to go through what Debbie's been through this year. So hopefully we'll raise some money for it and help prevent it. So we're the Run for George team, and we're running in memory of our son, George Edison Woodward, who unfortunately passed away two years ago. And we're raising money this year for a wonderful charity called Remember My Baby, who took some beautiful photos um, of George for us whilst we were in hospital with him. So we've got these lovely mementos of him now that we can carry with us uh, for our lifetime. There's some people who have done it and, and they're not doing it again because it is a bit tough and if you, if you do it without any training um, uh, you know, it, it's, you're going to have a few aches and pains afterwards but provided you're doing the right sort of level of training you'll be fine. We have quite a few people who are picking up five year awards this year, I think we've got about 20 people picking up the five year award, we've done it five times. We've got four or five people picking up the ten year award. And I would say probably out of all the, there's about a thousand runners who will actually be going today. Out of those thousand runners, there's probably about 50 who have done it more than 10 times. I first ran the Clarendon, the first one in 1998. Um, very different to today. It was much smaller, started in Winchester, down at the Winchester College. Um, but I don't remember a huge amount, but I came third woman. So and I've still got the trophy. Not, not in great condition, but I, I, I finished. I knew about the hospice appeal, but we sadly had a friend who was diagnosed with terminal cancer back in June, um, and he, he started raising money, and it, it brought attention to the fact that actually there wasn't a hospice in Winchester, which actually, sadly, I didn't know. Uh, so we've got 10 runners in total, so we've got a lot of people doing the full marathon, which is amazing, and then we've got a relay team together as well, so yeah. How much money do you hope to raise? Um, well, we've just hit uh, over the 1500 mark and hopefully by the end of this we'll be over £2,000. Really nice route, so we're looking for a nice day out this time. What are you looking forward to most?
nice about the, the run? Um, getting to the end. No, the views. kilometers and maybe a bit more because I'm quite prone to getting lost so by the time I'm finished it'll probably be 40. I'm not a fan of birthdays so I thought I'd do something I enjoy and I enjoy running so I've come all this way. We've got five teams entered today um, the, the relay we've also got I think at least three guys who are running the full marathon today it's becoming bigger and bigger for us we came in, we entered four teams last year the first that was the first time for us as a club the club's only been going five years so um, we're a growing club in, um, in the Southampton area and hopefully we'll put even even more teams in next year. Uh, this is Jordan, Paddy, Dylan, Jack, we're from Andover Athletics Club. We won the um, Clarendon Relay Marathon last year. It's always a great feeling afterwards to, um, <laughs> to uh, finish the race and to have just done it to, uh, to like see what we achieve week in week out. I'm Rob Carter, I'm a member of Winchester Rotary Club uh, and each year I get the honour of cycling at the front of the race and mainly just for safety reasons, just to keep any other uh, horse riders or walkers and a few cars out of the way and then to let the marshals know that the lead runners are coming through. I'm Rob. I'm Pete. I'm Cy. Yeah. And we're, and we're from all from Winchester, Winchester Running, Running Club. Club. It's about 50 of us uh, yeah. in all the events, so the relay and the individuals and a few I think joining in the half, aren't they? So, yes. Yeah, loads. It's gloriously organised, but it appears to be disorganised, but it's not. It's just such fun to come and do. It's, it's such, a, such a lot of challenges on the way with lots of mud, lots of variety, lots of different sort of terrains. So, so we'll be on that. I mean, that'll be our, you know, we'll have a bonus being, being an army veteran. We would have been used to that sort of terrain, really. Nigel, you're, you're clearly an experienced um, marathon runner. Yeah, this will be the 165th. And quite a few at the Clarendon. 12th Clarendon, yeah. What is it about the Clarendon Marathon that you like? Um, well, it's well organised, the buses and everything else, and it's nice point to point, you know, I mean, it makes a nice change to start somewhere and finish somewhere else, you know. When you finish a marathon, it just feels better, you know. You've just done 26 miles, and, uh, and there's a, another one on the list. Um, I've just heard how beautiful it is, so I'm looking forward to seeing, seeing that really. And it seems quite social, like people seem really friendly, so I think, yeah, I think it'll be nice. And it's really well organised, which is always a good thing. And JJ has been brilliant because he's helped, helping me get my mum to Winchester, so he's been really accommodating, so yeah. I did a 50 miler three weeks ago, and I've signed up for my first 100 next year, so... Goodness, well today will be a doddle then. <laughs> wow. It's, it's a challenging route. It will be my second time of doing the marathon. I've done the half twice before. And, um, yeah, I, I love the route, hence why I'm back for the fourth time. It's lovely. I'm Stanley Parkinson and I'm 11 years old. I'm James Lewis and I'm 11 years old. I'm James Salter and I'm 13 years old. And you guys are all running the relay, 10k each? Yes. Yes. That's amazing for 11-year-olds. Is this something that you do regularly? Um, not really. Well, we have done long runs, but like our first like run this long.
going downhill again. It's, it's always a slight hill. It gets worse <laughs> later. This is a nice bit. Can you wave your hand if you can hear me? Morning. OK, um, everything's looking really, really good. We've got a double-decker bus that's um, stuck across the route, but uh, hopefully that'll be... Um, uh, and then I'll be trying to catch you all up. Give us a wave through running club. Woo! Okay, great. I can see a couple of hands going up. Is that we need to thank the marshal? Okay. Oh, keep yourself. Yeah, but you're plenty of time the road anyway. Okay. See you in Winchester. Bye bye. Die Jetson. Still within the first mile. My legs are going, what are you doing? It's a good job they don't have the sound on the Clarendon video. Because they'd be whinging at 20 miles. Just wave everyone. So far, we're loving it. it. Loving it, good. It's totally awesome. You're on the TV. How are you finding it? <laughs> great. Yeah, lovely, lovely fresh air. Only about ten miles to go now. Right, excellent. It'll be great. Well done. Well done. Well done. Water. We're making them happier. Hey JJ! <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. <laughs>
Okay. Well done. Well done. Good. <laughs> Love it. Well done. Which is to that way? Well done. This is Winchester Talking Newspaper and we, re we record um, pieces from the Hampshire Chronicle for blind listeners and we've got 80 volunteers well and 100 listeners and we do that on a weekly basis. And lots of you out today supporting the Clarendon Yeah, Yes, we've been doing this for about five or six years every year. Helps us and of course we, we get some funds for doing this so it's well worth it. Bit, we're chopping up the bananas for the, for the runners and we've got lots of lovely cake and they love the jelly beans, that's how we're going to it. <laughs> and between times it's glasses of water being thrown all over the place and the odd dog. Here we go up Farley Mount. Uh, biggest hill on the whole course. Well done, everybody. Hey, can we love it? That's it. Right, we're coming up to Farley Mount Monument Relay Transition and Water Station. Bricks ahead. Thank you, everybody. Hey, ace, ace, ace. Love it. Yeah, I could do with one of those. Thank you very much, Marshalls. Good mm. time. Excellent. Aren't you lucky yeah. you're not running it? <laughs> yeah, much thank, better. Yeah, thank, thankfully we've got a bad back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, Keith, very good. Thank you. Yay, positivity pom-poms! Hey, happy Marshalls! You love the Clarendon Marathon, do you? Yeah, yeah. I've done, I've done the half, I think, two or three times, the full, twice. Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's one of the best races uh, in the South, I think. We've got the, uh, the winner of the 50, to, uh, the 50 to 59, and I've done this with my dad, Mr. Rycroft, because he's been in hospital this week. So well done, Dad. Keep going. I did it for you. <laughs> My name is Alan Darlington. I'm chairman of the Winchester Live at Home scheme. Brilliant. And tell me about, about that scheme. The charity runs to help elderly people in the Winchester area who want to live an independent life but need a little bit of help to get on with that life. So the charity organises lots of activities for people that uh, are in the area. We run uh, outings regularly, we have lunch clubs, we run uh, exercise classes to keep people moving, keep them active, run singing groups, 
Uh-huh. So all the money you raise here as, as marshals, or be, by being marshals, is, is really vital to that work? It is, absolutely, yes. Yes, we couldn't run without charitable donations. Uh, ben Pittman. And you won the, the, the whole the main marathon? Yes, I did the main marathon today, so yeah. So tell me how it was for you. Um, it was quite nice because it started off with some of the relay runners, which was quite nice to run with some people for a short amount of time, and then as I kind of got into the race, kind of got into a bit of a rhythm on my own, it was quite nice seeing sort of fellow runners who were walking, seeing the countryside, really nice. So were you a long way ahead? I don't know, I think it was about eight, nine minutes in the end, but it's quite hard to tell because it's not like you can see too far back. You've got some of the relay runners, especially in the last bit, coming past me because they're being feeling a bit, bit fresher than I am at that point. Hard. hard. Very hard. <laughs> Hilly, hard. Yeah. Which section did you have? Uh, leg three. Okay, that's the hardest bit, isn't it? Apparently so, yeah. I did the first leg. Uh, the other runner who's not here, B, did the second leg. Chris took the tough third leg and then Steve took the fourth leg. I was on the glory leg. <laughs> and how was it out there today? It's beautiful, really nice course. I thought it might be a bit slippery with all the rain, but it was, um, yeah, great conditions. Have you run the Clarendon before? Um, I have as a relay team a few years ago. Well done. Okay, and, and you've never, never run it before. How does it compare to any other running that you might have done? Um, yeah, it was tough. There were some quite, quite tough hills on the third leg, um, but the scenery was beautiful. It was well organised. Um, there was a marshal everywhere you needed one to be. It's really good. I haven't done hill training before, and I'm not, that was a tough one to do for sure. It was but ambitious, but you've made it. Yeah, I did. Patrick, the Stubbington Green Runners. So you got your medal, you just crossed the line just very quickly. How was it out there today? That's not too bad, actually. Yeah. Have you been? Have you run at Clarendon before? No, first time ever. Brilliant. You enjoyed it. That was all right. Nice change. So you just crossed the line, but you got some support at the very end there. Support, yeah. This is your son. I, I needed their help to pull me over the line. That got quite hard. Very emotional. Loved it though. Yeah, it's a really tough marathon. Yeah, but very picturesque and uh, lots to keep your mind off the, uh, the pain. So, what did you enjoy about it? Um, I think, to be honest, it's the the marshals, and they're just everywhere, and they're all so supportive and. I uh, can't tell you how much of a difference that makes when you're struggling. It's not one to try and get your uh, personal best because it's so hilly and everything, but uh, definitely do it. It's just a great vibe and uh, great coming together of people, coming together of community. That's what it's about. And just the scenery is just fantastic. It's just great. Why have you been out all night? Because we've been on our night hike. Right. We were doing a district night hike around the Oldsford area. Around the Oldsford area? Yeah. And do you know where you started? Um, yeah, Brumdean Brumby. Camp or something. Okay. And do you know where you finished? Um, we, we, same place. It was, a, it was a loop. We like started at like seven, ten past seven and finished at about... Got back just gone midnight. That's late enough. And what time yeah. did you get here this morning? Um, I got here about just before lunch. Yeah, quarter to one. Right. Yeah. Had a bit Have you been handing out all the medals? Yeah. Yeah. And who's given out more medals? Uh, uh, probably about the same. It was a good run. Well Excellent run. Oh. Are you proud of the, the, the event today? Yeah. No, it's good. It's nice when I'm running along because people like, take the time to stop and say, "Yeah, we're really enjoying ourselves." It's a good run, so it's always nice. Yeah, fires us up for next year. So tomorrow we start planning for next year.
beautiful, beautiful route. Last mile was hard, but yeah. it was good. Well worth doing. Yeah. You look well. You don't look like you've just run 26 miles. Oh, well, <laughs> so no, we took the like... end quite easy, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, the end was. Yeah. For anyone who's thinking about the Clarendon Marathon, what would you what would you say to them? Definitely go for it. Their support is amazing. The yeah. marshals are lovely. It's brilliant. It's beautiful. Really beautiful. It's beautiful reach yeah. as well. Really yeah. nice. Yeah. I've got another marathon in five weeks, so. Where well, I will be wearing this again. Tough. You know, like, a lot of effort. Yes. Yeah. You made it. Well done. Yeah, thank you. What was it like then running running out there today? Very fun, definitely. Very fun? Yes. Why was it fun? Um, loads of um, It was very muddy indeed. Very good. Well, I run the um, half marathon today, and it's the first half marathon I've run in. And how was it? It's a beautiful route, a little bit hillier than I was expecting, but I like running off-road and I've been running now for a year with a club, so it was delightful to take part and it's a great finish. And but you took part in the relay? Yeah, I did the second leg. Wow, how was that? It was good, yeah. Are you used to running 10k? That's a long um, distance. I've never done 10k, but I've done 5k and I do 1500 in cross-country, so yeah. So a big step up and, and, and on a quite a hilly cross-country yeah. type course. Yeah, although I have done quite a lot of cross-country, so I knew what all the hills were going to be like and stuff. Both my husband and I have walked, just completed the five mile walk into Winchester. It was absolutely delightful, a lovely amble through the woods and alongside the fields on bridle paths, and we thoroughly enjoyed it. So, so this is my, my first marathon um, ever, and it was the start of my training for um, the Marathon des Sables next year. So that's uh, six marathons in five days in the Sahara Desert, uh, 156 miles, so it's going to be pretty tough. And I'm running for the Army Benevolent Fund, the Soldiers Charity. This is the start, end of the beginning of my training. I now realise I've got a lot more to do. Uh, mile 22 onwards was pretty tough. Um, but yeah, no, raising a lot of money for a good cause. And um, yeah, it, it only gets tougher from here, really. OK, Team Heemwood, how are you feeling? This is it, we are so here. Thank you, Marshall. We are so close, Em. Can you hold my hand? Good girl. You see the start. Hi, Mum. How are you? Hi, Mummy. How are you? Hi, thank you. I ran off. I'm free. Oh, she's off. She's leaving me. Go. Go on, Em. Go on, Emily. Go on. Well done. Yes, Emily! It, it's a major event for two reasons. One is it's our major fundraiser, and the second one is that, as you can see here, it gives us a lot of exposure to the local community. I've been asking some of the people who've been coming up to get prizes today uh, if this is the first time they've done it. Some have said yes, it is, but it won't be the last time. Uh, but the vast majority of them have all done it before, they've enjoyed it, they come back, they do it again. And I think, again, one of the big attractions is it, it's an off-road marathon, it's cross-country, whereas the vast majority of marathons tends to be on-road. Big, different event. Well, it's fantastic that Winchester Rotary organises this every year. And we've got, what, over a thousand runners, which is great. So you're pleased to be able to come along and support? Always delighted. Fantastic day for it. Uh, the runners were superb. The course conditions were absolutely fantastic. A little bit damp, but still made for some really fast running. And I had the privilege of watching the relay guys behind me fighting it out between uh, Winchester Athletic, Athletic Club and uh, Andover. And it was an absolute privilege to see those guys chasing me uh, across the countryside. So for the relay teams, yes, the relay race was run by Winchester District Athletic Club. Um, it was the first time for a long time that I think they've won it. Um, and it was great to see that. And I believe the overall relay winner was from Lords Hill. Uh, excellent day. I mean, we seem to be so lucky every year. I stand here and talk to you guys in this beautiful sunshine and uh, long may it continue.
Jonathan, thank you very much. Well done,